Okay, so this is the second video, which is a continuation of the first one. Just to remind you, the first video explained to you um, which betting and gaming platform to use using a site like oddstrecker.com, which showed you a range of odds for all the different betting platforms. We're now on racingpost.com, which provides you for free the statistics on horses performances in the last several races. So we can see here that we've got the 310 race at Kempton out and we're going to use Kato Star as an example to determine whether this horse stands a chance of winning. So there are eight different things I would like to explain which you could look at with regards to um, considering whether a horse is good for the race. The first is form. So here you can see the form of the horse. In the last race on 19th November, Kato Star came first out of six in a class one race. In previous races, it's also come third, third and first. So it's got quite good form. So you tick that box. The second statistic you would want to look at is whether it's covered the distance. And this is over here. So the last race was 24 furlongs, the second last race was 25, 27, 24. What you need to do is you need to go to the race on Betfair and identify how long the race is. And this race is 24 furlongs. So we need to see how well the horse has done in those 24 furlong races. And as we can see, Kato Star has raced in 24 furlongs quite a few times. So it's, and it's done quite well in them. It's come first, third, and first. So that's a good one. If you look at another horse, like, such as Captain Chris, even though it's got great performance, you may mark it down because it hasn't covered the distance, 24 furlongs. The highest distance it's done in the last six races was 21 furlongs. Right, the next thing, number three, is the jockey who's racing on the horse. And here we can see it's Ruby Walsh who is um, one of the top jockeys. And we can also see here that Ruby Walsh is racing with Kato Star on the day. So this is pretty good. It shows that Ruby Walsh has raced with the horse many times. It's a top class jockey. He's a top class jockey. And uh, finally, he's racing with the horse again on the, during the race on, at 310 at Kempton. The fourth thing you need to look at is the trainer, and that's over here, and it's Paul Nichols, one of the top trainers um, in the horse racing business. And when you click on that link, you'll see how um, Paul Nichols' horses have been doing over the last few weeks. And so this is some pretty good form, isn't it? One five two, and then we're looking down four one one two one. So his horses do pretty well. That's number four. Number five you need to check is the weight. So here is the weight of the horse, 11.10. Now as we can see, all the horses are actually 11.10. Um, so one thing we also need to check is what the horse has been, um, what weight the horse has been throughout the last six races. And as we can see, this is something you could sort of mark down for Kato Star, because it used to be 11.10, right, which is pretty standard. Um, but then it performed really well um, on 19th November when it was 11.7, when it was lighter. So is this extra weight going to affect Kato Star's performance? That's something you need to consider. The next thing is the class races, whether it's done uh, good uh, top class races. And as you can see, well, for this race, most of them have done top class races, but Kato Star has done class one, class one, Class one, class one. So it's a top horse. It's performed well in those class one races. Um, the seventh thing you need to look at is the time of the last race. Now, there are some horses that haven't raced in a long time, and there are some horses that raced last week. You need to watch out for that, because if they raced last week, they aren't going to perform as well as they could, really. They might be too tired. Most probably, the chances are they are too tired. So you need to also consider that. 19th November is a good one for Kato Star here. And finally, um, you need to check the ground. Now on the day, it could be raining, so then the conditions are soft. So you need to check how it's performed in soft conditions, or how it's performed in good conditions. Overall, it shows that Kato Star is a good candidate.